Hey, Dan here with Sprouts Greens and more. I'm in my back garden again, and I'm looking around. And of course, there's lots of weeds back here. I'm going to pull the weeds and then try to get some sun chokes out today. And I'm going to show you the process of harvesting, cleaning, and maybe even eating some sun chokes. She wanted to eat some sun chokes. So let me show you what I'm up against. Of course, you know, I don't really like to videotape me pulling weeds, but I'm going to show you what I'm up against before I even get to the sun chokes. And this gives me an excuse and a reason to get start getting this back area really cleaned up, which just got away from me uh, before winter. And so there's just a ton of weeds here that I'm pulling also. Let me show you what's going on. So this was some of the weeds I pulled. And of course you can see it's a big, huge pile. We got a purple tree collier right there. And we actually have one down here. And I um, and then let's get in here. So this is the sun choke. And you can tell when it's done, when, when it's all dried up. <clears throat> and so we're going to get in here and get all these weeds out mainly grass and it's kind of a long grass so you can grab it and it comes out pretty easy oh man i'm tired <laughs> so i got all those weeds pulled out and man i am out of shape there's still a little bit if you look down here there's still a little bit but i'm going to be digging in here with the shovel right now so we're just going to kind of dig this area. I didn't really see any sun chokes in this area. If you look right here, there's a sun choke right here. So, so here's the sun choke, you guys. And I'm going to pull it out. Try to. I'm old. I'm getting old. So... I got the sun chokes right here and I left my bucket over there. And if you look at them, you can see. Crypto wants to see. He says, let me look. And I know you guys aren't going to believe this. But he eats sun chokes too, you guys. He's a sun choke <laughs> eater. Yeah. These things are delicious. So my wife's in the garden today helping me film she doesn't really like to pull weeds too much so we're gonna set those right there and then i'm gonna grab my shovel which is right here and i'm not gonna dig up a whole bunch i'm gonna use the ground as the refrigerator right now and Hopefully they'll store in the ground, so we're just going to dig enough for tonight's dinner and then show you guys how to clean them and how to get them out of the ground. Come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So there might be a gopher. There might be a gopher in here because he's kind of on it. So when you take the saw, you just want to flip it over and you just kind of want to see what's in the ground and we didn't have a whole bunch this year <laughs> so he's definitely wanting to help me today so i can see if we got some more and i actually sliced through it with the shovel so sometimes it's better to use your trowel or just your hand to get them out and like I said, we didn't have a whole bunch this year, so so we're just looking for what we do have, and we only need enough for for dinner. So we got a big clumper right here. Look at that! It's like it's like digging for gold, you guys. And look at this one. That weed actually is trying to take it over.
down this a little roly poly there. Now that's bad because they'll, they'll eat the uh, they'll eat the uh, potatoes <laughs> while they're in the ground. About the only thing they eat. At least I think they do. So we got a bunch of them coming out. This was right where the stem was. So I try not to pull them all out because I like to have just ones come up volunteers. And look at these, these are great. So we got enough for dinner and then I'll take them into the kitchen and set up in there and show you guys how to um, clean them because they are you really want to, I actually will clean one out here. I changed my line. I'm going to clean one out here in the garden for you guys. But look at there's just so many. <clears throat> so the sunchoke is a, is a great root crop. Because when you eat it, if you're diabetic, it doesn't produce into sugar. Your body doesn't process it into sugar like a potato. Like when you eat a potato, your body will process it into sugar. <laughs> In the sun choke, it won't. It's also known as Jerusalem artichoke. And you can go to a farmer's market and buy them. And you just put them in the ground or put them in a planter and they'll just start growing. And usually once they start growing, they're really tough to get rid of. Like I didn't even plant these. They just came up on their own and look how many we got. And when I'm doing the farmer's market, I like to have a bunch because this is another crop at the farmer's market. If you're doing farmer's market, it's easy to grow and you get, you get money out of it and they, they'll buy them at the farmer's market. You got to kind of educate them on what they are. Okay, we're very situated and we've moved back a little bit. And when I was pulling the weeds over here, look what I found. And I had totally forgot that I had started, if you guys, if my wife can zoom in on that, then we'll probably just let that grow. But we are gonna pull a few just to taste them. But that's a potato, you guys. A red potato? Not sure. But I will know when I pull it up. So oh, yeah. it's you just a white potato. potato, so here it is. So you want to pull the roots off and again you want to rinse these and we're going to go over here and I'm going to rinse I'm them for you guys. And so I'm not even having to really even dig these. So I'm probably just going to leave the small ones like that. And then this, if I'm not mistaken, is actually a sweet potato. So I have sweet potatoes out here and it looks like I have some russets right there. And then I got some more, I'm not sure what this is, this looks like another russet. And so I might want to grab my my shovel real quick because I see another potato root sit, sticking up there. And I had totally forgot that I had planted these in this area. And I see a bunch here, look it, we have a bunch. So me and my wife, we love to eat potatoes. I, I love hash browns. And so we have a little more. Now I'm gonna leave those go because they're little and we're coming in I mean we're in December in Bakersfield but things don't know the seasons here because it's kind of warm this this winter so we'll leave them in there let me grab my shovel and see if I can find any more potatoes so I got my shovel <laughs> I got my shovel and I'm gonna get in here and just see if any of them went a little deeper I don't think the potatoes will go deep like the sun choke but we're just kind of pour this over here and kind of go through it Usually you're supposed to build a oh, you build. and I kind of sliced through that one too so Seems like a sweet potato. so I'll be really careful now that I know they're in here so it doesn't look like we have a whole bunch in here but we have a few. Is that one down there? It looks like there's something in there. And then you can see my original soil. 
starting to really compost down when you go a little deeper and so here I'm not sure that looks like a potato right there so, and then when you're digging for the potatoes you want to make sure you're getting all the the root out of the raised bed because this root right this grass right here it'll take you over but what i noticed is it had kind of laid down and was dying and um it acted as a nice mulch for the top so i don't really see any more potatoes in here i think they're more over that way but we have oh here's one right here so here's another one right here it's got some roots on it but um it's hard so we're gonna let me just see if we got any more right in here Again, we're just going to flip that over. I didn't really see any more right there. So those are just kind of on the top. We got another one right there, but we're going to keep that kind of planted. And this is a big one, but it has green on it. So I'm going to leave. The sun. The sun hitting it makes it green. No, this. Oh, it's growing. It's okay. growing. Oh, okay. So I'm going to keep that in the ground, you guys. And then I got some little potatoes right here. This one looks like something's been eating it, but we're going to get it. So let me grab my bucket. I'll put them in my bucket. I'll be right back. So I got my bucket. This is a tool that you guys are going to need in the garden all the time. Um, I use them for everything. Unfortunately, this one was old paint bucket, but it's not going to harm. The paint's dry, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm just going to put my, my newly found food that I got out of my garden. And like I said, I think I'm going to leave some of the, the smaller ones in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the weeds around them, and then I'm just going to plant them just like that and then I got another one right there I'm just gonna plant that one that looks like a but look at that as a potato but and that one's planted so we're just gonna leave it planted but there's something right here and look at that's a sweet potato right there you guys so those are those look a little pink and red which is really cool and then let me grab my sun chokes over here. See, Crypto was kind of putting dirt back on them. <laughs> Come on, go. So we got way more than we can even eat. So what I might do is clean them up really good and put them in some containers and give them to my give a few to my neighbors because they put up with my garden and my forest in the front yard all right so i got my sun jerks right here we're just gonna clean them right here because i had transplanted this uh, if you watch my future videos, my past videos, I mean, uh, you can see that I planted lemon grass there. And then all you do to clean these up is you just rinse them off real good. And I got it on fan right now. I tend to use the fan for everything. And then we're just going to rinse off a little place right here. And we'll just put them right there. And you can see the little root. You just want to get them really clean real well. You can take a brush and clean them up. So we're going to rinse a few more here. And I got these suckers really clean. And then when you cut them open, and we'll go in the kitchen today. And I'll cut them open and I'll show you guys how to cook them. And then, now you guys will boil them, or I think you can even deep fry these. <laughs> yeah, that's not good for my diet. 
So let's find one of these to make it there. This was the find of the day right here. Some, some sweet potatoes. Because me and my wife just had some of those this morning. So we're going to eat some sweet potatoes. I'm pretty sure it's a sweet potato. And then if you get stuff like this, you guys. I mean, obviously this would be something you could never take to the market. But you can take it to your kitchen and cut that off and shred it down and have some sweet potato hash browns. So anyway, we're going to take these into the kitchen. I'm going to set up in there real quick and then slice and dice these and throw them in the pan and show you how I cook them. Hey, I made it to my kitchen. I'm tired from pulling all those weeds, but I made it to my kitchen. And I got the sun choke, and I want to show you that this is the tap root. So what happens is this, when it's during the springtime, when it's starting to grow and produce, is this will veer off in the soil, and then it will uh, form another sun choke. So when you're going to prepare these, and I'll show you just a little bit. I had it way, way more. But I have my sunchokes right here on the counter. Let me zoom in on those real quick. Snow, they look beautiful. <laughs> they look beautiful. So what we're going to do here is we're going to slice and dice these. And then I'm going to just I'm just gonna fry these in a pan with a little olive oil and I'll show you how I do that so let me slice these up and you really want to check for for any dirt so when you break them apart sometimes the dirt will be inside when you break them around here so all I do is I'll rinse them but you can just wipe them down with a paper towel and then this part you don't really need so see that part and you can see the dirt in there so I'm just going to rinse this off at the sink Then you want to grab your trusty knife. Let me zoom out. So all we're going to do is just slice these just straight down. And they should be nice and white inside. If they're discolored too bad, then you don't want to be eating them they're probably not all that great they're going to be a little yellow because it's a sun choke see like these are just breaking apart and if you look at this one it's got the little root on it and you just want to pull that off throw it in our garbage over there I got my little cloth because I don't want any dirt sometimes the sun choke will have kind of a I want to say a dirty taste but not really a dirty taste it's just an earthy taste to them but I don't want them too earthy <laughs> they get too earthy and I won't eat them so we're just gonna pull we got some more here so we're just gonna these look pretty clean inside, so we're just going to slice the whole thing. This was the one I actually sliced with the shovel. So I'm just going to cut this little piece that I sliced with the shovel. It'll go into our waste bucket over here. And then we got some nice... And I'm cutting the bigger ones a little thinner. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off there. And then you want to look at them like, see that? That you don't want to be eating right there. That's, that's bad. So you can either cut it off 
And when you grow f food in your own garden, it's not like you're shipping it to the market. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But as you guys know in my previous videos, I am a farmer's market guy. I do the farmer's market once in a while. And I'm telling you, they're, some of them are really picky at the market. So you got to be really selective and you got to really wash everything. You should be washing all your own food, all your food anyway, whether it comes from the market, the grocery store, or your garden. In the previous video, I said I don't spray. I don't spray hardly at all. There are times where I have to break the organicide out and spray like for aphids, but most of the time I'm trying to use water. So back to the sun choke. So we're going to... And the thing is, is you can eat these raw too. And so I'm going to eat them raw. And I'm going to tell you, this year, they're sweet. So that soil, I've been working on it for about five years. It's really coming around. And everything that's coming out of there, superb, superb, man. I mean, these are awesome. They're so good. Back to the cooking. So we're just going to fire our pan up. And I've got some olive oil. I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. And we're just going to put, put a little bit in the pan here. Then we'll take our sun chokes and just put them in the pan. And you can hear them frying. Hopefully you can hear them frying. Let me put my mic right on top. Sizzling away. <laughs> so I'm going to cook enough for me and my wife. And you just throw them in there like you would do like a potato. Like some ash browns or then we're gonna pull this heat down. Um, you can <clears throat> usually we'll put them on medium. You know, I'll get the pan on high at first, and then I'll turn them down to medium. And then you just want to flip them over. These are pretty thick, so might take a minute for them to cook. But there's some thin ones in there. Man, I like flavor to all my food, so I'm going to use me some garlic salt on these. And just lightly garlic. You could use fresh garlic and we've had a lot of fresh garlic come out of the gardens this year or that we were using for seed but we've been eating it too. And so you just, oh those smell so good. You should be here in my kitchen. And so here we are, we got them sizzling away here and they're looking, looking really good here. Here we go. So I like a lot of flavor in my food. That's probably why I'm overweight. But I've really been trying to eat out of the gardens and just try to eat less sugar. Am I doing a hundred percent on my diet? No. <laughs> but I'm trying. <laughs> Back to the good kids. <laughs> So 
so you can see that it's starting to see the color on this one and that's kind of when you know they're getting done and I kind of want them a little bit fried I had thought I got a new wok for Christmas and I was thinking about putting them in the wok but I said oh, I'll just do them in this little pan just me and my wife and we're going to try the sun chokes this this year's got a thick one right there so you want to cook the sun choke for probably a good five to ten minutes if you cook it too long it'll get mushy on you and some people will boil them I don't really like them boiled I like them fried or raw and like they're great for putting in your if you're a raw vegan then they're great for putting in your salad and eating them raw because like I said out in the garden your body won't process them into sugar so like a potato and by the way the the sweet potatoes that we pulled out they came out great I don't know if I showed them uh, being cleaned out there but here's the sweet potatoes that we got out of the garden and they look great we got we got only a couple but they look great and we're gonna eat these tomorrow for breakfast because we had sweet potatoes this morning but we'll have them again so you can see where I'm getting them a little brown there and that's the way I like mine because I like them a little brown and of course the pan's getting a little brown too but so now what I'm going to do break my diet and we're going to put some parmesan cheese on there <laughs> And then you give it a little bit of Parmesan or a whole lot of Parmesan <laughs> <laughs> and we have the pepper I mean we have the salt but we need a little pepper too so we're gonna put a little pepper on them too you guys I like a lot of pepper so when I say a little that means probably a lot and then we're just going to stir these up a little bit the parmesan get it a little bit melted a little bit more just for taste <laughs> so we got our plate Now you can add the Parmesan afterwards, but you can see, like that's that's wonderful right there. But if you add it when you're cooking, it'll get a little heated up and it'll get kind of a, a crispy on it, the cheese, and that's what I like. So we're gonna try this. So here we go. Still a little crunchy. We're going to try the thinner one that was really thin if you see that compared to the little thicker one. Focus. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> so we'll try the third one. Mm. Perfect. And you can put cheddar cheese on them or you can leave them plain. This is just how I like to do them. And the sun chokes this year are really sweet. So you can basically just put them in olive oil and cook them 
And you don't have to add all the stuff I add that's bad for you. <laughs> but I'm Dan with uh, Sprouts, Greens, and More. I'm just showing you how to get it from your garden to your table and eating your own food that you grow. It's going to be way healthier for you. And hopefully this will help you um, with the sun chokes. And so please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. And share with thousands of your friends. And I really appreciate it. So you guys have a good day. Peace. I'm out and I'm going to finish my sun chokes.